it's a big concern for a lot of people that when we come to college so early, we're kind of giving up our childhood. And we're giving up our chance to kind of stay at home and dream and play and stare at the ceiling and watch the leaves blow around. But if you get disillusioned with junior high school and with the, the, the lack of learning, if you get bored, you don't get a lot of enjoyment out of life. And this experience has really given that enjoyment back to me, I think. Aaron Earle is a successful college student. Majoring in music, piano, and computer science, Erin is about to graduate. Her grade point average is higher than most of her fellow students. Her prospects bright. What's unusual about Erin is her age. She's only 18, the age of most college freshmen. That's because Erin is an early entrance student at the University of Washington's Robinson Center for Young Scholars. The Halbert and Nancy Robinson Center for Young Scholars sets the international standard for academically talented adolescents' early entrance to university. Each year, some of the brightest students in Washington enter the University of Washington after 7th, 8th, or 10th grades in a large company of their peers. The center's carefully crafted programs take into account students' social, emotional, and intellectual needs and support them as they discover and express their unique talents and abilities. Too many kids turn off when they're very young because they're in educational systems, both public and private, that really don't believe in providing the kind of academic challenge that, that very bright students absolutely have to have. And so what happens is that the kids turn off oftentimes as young as second and third grade. I was bored in middle school and lacking challenge and this really had a detrimental effect on my studies and in my life in general. I got bored, got frustrated with school, with my social life, with my parents even, caused a lot of family havoc. You know I had a lot of good friends in middle school um, but I was looking for a more intense environment and this really fit what I was looking for. I was really enthusiastic and when I came in for to for my day of visiting and then the interview I was really sad when I left because I was like this is the greatest program ever and what if I don't get in and I was ecstatic when I found out that I did. It creeps all over the house. I find it hovering in the dining room, skulking in the parlor, parlor hiding in the hall, lying in wait for me on the stairs. It gets into my hair. Like, the Robinson Center programs include Transition School, where middle school age students spend a year preparing for early entrance to college. The center also offers an academy for young scholars who enter the university after their sophomore year of high school. This is a laser altimeter. It's Summer programs at the Robinson Center offer advanced educational opportunities for fifth and sixth graders as well as high school students. A lot of the problems I faced in high school are gone. I'm, this is the first time I've ever been happy in school. It just expands your mind a lot more than you would ever think. Basically this program taught me to learn and to research and to be a much better student. Not only was my high school not academically challenging for me anymore, but because I was, since I was so involved in high school my sophomore year, I felt like there wasn't very much for me to do my last two years and it would be very repetitive. I will not miss the prom at all. I went to prom when I was a sophomore and it's not, it's nothing. It's, I mean, compared to the kinds of friends and the kinds of people that I'm going to meet here, I feel like the time in high school is not lost. I wasn't very satisfied in high school. I had a lot of friends, I guess I'd say, and I enjoyed that aspect of it, but I felt like I spent all my time doing busy work that wasn't doing me any good. The University of Washington Academy for Young Scholars offers an opportunity for gifted high school students to enter the university after their sophomore year of high school and begin full-time work in the honors program. They really had a good knowledge of that. Uh, and that wall that you see, that is called the City of London today. The Academy is recruiting kids out of sophomore year in high school. Most of them are 16 years old. And instead of going to their junior year in high school, they come to the U. To support them, the Academy offers a preparatory bridge program at the end of the summer. We bring them in, we take them on a, a camping trip for a couple of nights to a really cool spot 
um, over at Indianola, um, and they get to know each other a little bit over there, and they actually start some academic lessons over there, and then they're, you know, it's kind of a bonding experience, and then they come back here to the university and work with some professors, uh, learning what it's like to, uh, to be lectured to, to take notes. There is a, um, a writing link component. Part of what we're going to do today is look at thesis paragraphs and how, how we go about structuring those and how they're developed. Um, writing link is like a small um, writing composition seminar. Students work in groups with uh, very carefully trained professors and they learn about the structure of essays, about um, how to take notes, about how to discuss things in class. It's like a story, but I looked through the other paragraphs and there wasn't anything that went off of it. So it seemed like an anecdote to start off the paper with. That's very possible too. So After the jump start, the students get a week off and then they come back to the university and they start as freshmen in the honors program. The, the honors program provides a small liberal arts environment within this large research university. The philosophy of the honors program is to provide top students, high achieving students, with the most challenging curriculum at the university. Um, so we provide small cl uh, classes for students taught by faculty from across the university. I think one of the interesting things about the honors program is that it has no permanent faculty. So we can change our curriculum uh, from year to year, from quarter to quarter. Um, students have uh, input into the kinds of curriculum that they're interested in. The professors here are great. They're so much fun and they seem more like real people than they were in high school. and they they really seem to enjoy what they teach and then they like when you come see them in office hours they're excited to see you. I thought it was really interesting in our jumpstart program the professor we had was the chair of the comparative history of ideas program and I thought it was really impressive that they could get someone that illustrious to teach us. First quarter we took a class that was just completely everything was your thought. They pretty much taught you all these great thinking of philosophers and they're like we'll take these theories and create your own and there's a lot more room for independent thinking, which is a shock at first, but then at the same time it's refreshing. I, I feel totally welcomed in the honors program. When I came into the honors program, people were just waiting there to make me be a part of it. There, there's the Croquet League, there's the RSC that runs bashes, there's lots of groups that want to welcome you, and it feels, I feel like I'm on a social par and an intellectual par too when I take classes. I feel like being part of the honors program is definitely a a really great benefit to being in the academy because these people really care about us and want to see us succeed. Academy students take one-third of their coursework in the honors program and the rest in regular university classes. We have some kids who are so know what they want to do and they are they want to get into the advanced courses and so they work hard to do that one. We have other kids who have no idea what they want to do. They come here, they may want to go into computer science, and then they discover comparative history of ideas. They may think they want to major in English, and then they really want to go to Italy with some group. And so the kids just run the gamut. Social life at the academy revolves around the honors lounge. And academy students really like to stay in the honors lounge and kind of meet there and hang out. You have to be a member of the honors program even to get into that, that room. The academy students are so tight. I feel like I'm part of a small group with the, the academy, and Grace is one of my really good friends in the academy. We, we room together. The academy students are really close with each other. We go to parties and stuff, just the 30 of us or so. You can meet so many more people, not only within the academy, you meet a lot more people who are like you with the same goals, same you know aspirations. In high school, like there was always like the popular group and like just a bunch of cliques. But like in, in the academy, well like I think everybody's found like friends either in the academy or outside the academy that they can relate to. Do you, would, do you think that's going to work better with your schedule? As with all the Robinson Center programs, the academy supports its young scholars with one-on-one -on -one assistance from advisors and faculty mentorship. The academy community is just so much, it, it's so different from what I had in high school because we all care about each other so much and even though I had really great friends in high school, there's, there's just something special and different about the academy. It's really, it's really neat to have a bunch of people that you can um, identify with in, intellectually as well as just socially. So we can have intellectual conversations and, yeah, and we can just have fun. <laughs> yeah.